Hello, my name is Darren Coffin, and tonight I'm going to give a quick demo of Simple CQRS. Simple CQRS is a .NET framework for creating CQRS uh, slash event sourcing applications. It was uh, written by Tyrone Groves, and um, once I saw it for the first time, I was pretty impressed, and uh, especially with how simple it was and how easy it was to use. Uh, so I wanted to give a demo of it. And I, I can't get into how a uh, CQRS application looks completely, but I, I do want to give you some headway. So I'm going to cheat by showing you the NCQRS Frameworks website. This would um, technically be a competitor to the framework, but they have a really neat picture that I think shows what I'm going to show you today. Um, this is a CQRS application for the most part, where you have a user interface. Um, now in that user interface, the user is going to do something. Uh, when they do something, it's going to initiate a command. Uh, there will be handlers for each command that will do things to the domain objects, um, you know, make whatever changes necessary. Each change will be recorded as an event, which is stored, you know, stamped and stored in the event store. Uh, those events are also published to denormalizers who take the data and events and create read models which are shown on the, the user interface. And like I said, that's about as deep as I'm going to get into this, so now I'm going to get into building the application. Okay, I'm going to make, and I'm going to make this a one file console app, so you can see how simple it really is. I'm going to call this simple CQRS demo. Again, it's a console app, nothing fancy. Gonna put a, put a debugger line right at the end. Yep, nothing, nothing big here. Uh, now I'm gonna add references to the framework, which I have in my on my hard drive here. Now there are a lot of DLLs here, but uh, what he's done is basically broken out the CQRS system into each uh, into the relevant sections. Now uh, I'm going to add references to all of these, um, which I'll need all of them today. But uh, I think when you actually write a real application, you're probably going to only need pieces of them, depending on what part of the site you're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. And there's a few more. Uh, one thing it is dependent on is an IOC container of some kind. Uh, it employs the same kind of service locator that you'll find in MVC Turbine, uh, which he, uh, Tyrone Groves and I are both fans of. So I'm going to use the Unity, Microsoft Unity one. So I just added a reference to simplecqrs.unity and Unity itself. Okay, the first thing I'm going to want to do is to create a runtime. This is kind of like the bootstrapper for the uh, CQRS application. Uh, so I'm going to call this sample runtime. It needs to inherit from simplecqrs.simplecqrs runtime. And here is where I need to pick my IOC container. And I'm going to use the Unity service locator. And for the most part, this is all I really need to know about my IOC container. So it's not going to be a big, I'm not going to, or that's not a big piece of the framework. It's just used to kind of glue the pieces together. So let me try to instantiate my runtime, sample runtime. I'm going to call start and shut down on it. Start will uh, basically look through the application domain, find all of the events and command handlers and event handlers, denormalizers, all that stuff, and just set them up for you in your, in your container. And the shutdown will just clean up. So let's run this. It ran. We're good. Okay. Now, like the picture said, commands are issued from the user interface, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's make a command. var command equals new. And let's say we're going to create an account. So create account command. And I'm going to set the first name and the last name. Set it to... So I just created a command. I'm going to make it public for now. And it needs to implement iCommand, which is kind of like just a marker interface. 
And now I need to pass this command. Oh, sorry, I forgot my properties, my first name and last name. All right. Now I want to pass the command on the command bus. Uh, right now, I mean, this is a pretty new library. Right now, the only way to get it out is to resolve it out of the container. But I swear I will not be using the container that much. So uh, let's just pass this command on the bus. So send this command. Okay. And I'm going to get an exception because I don't have a handler for that command. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'm going to make a create account command handler, and it's going to implement command handler of create account command. I need it's going to force me to make one method on this uh, handle create account command. And just to show you, I'll put a debugging line here. You can see it got my command, and my name is set there. Uh, Simple Secure OS manages, uh, you know, associating the handlers to the appropriate commands and, and doing all that work. So all you have to do is pretty much just create the classes you need. So let's go ahead and finish that. So let's keep going. So here I want to create an uh, create an account. So I'm just going to do that. Let's new up an account, and I have the name. So I'm going to make a method called set name, and I'm going to pass the first name and last name just like that. So let's make these objects. Now I wish I could get into the details of CQRS, but right now I'm just going to tell you that account is going to be an aggregate root, and it's going to have another, this method on it. Set name. Now if I'm actually creating an account, there's one thing that every uh, domain object is going to need, is, uh, and that is an ID. And the ID has to be a GUID. So I have an account, it's an aggregate root, and I have a constructor and set name. Now, like the picture says, um, whenever I make changes to the domain, it's going to create events. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, there's a method called apply, which I allow me to pass events. So I'm going to say account created event oh sorry setting the aggregate root ID to ID and here I'm going to say apply an event new account name set event first name equals first name last name equals last name just go ahead and create these objects you see there they inherit from domain event this guy too, and this guy has some additional properties, first name and last name. Okay, now I need to save this account somehow. Uh, Simple Secures has a way to do that, and that's through the domain repository, which I'm going to just bring in as a, con as a constructor argument. And in this domain repository, I'm going to say save account. Let's go and just run this. Command gets sent. Handler gets 